when four-year-old Nelly Rose Cullerton started struggling to walk earlier this year, it turned out to be the first signs of a rare but aggressive childhood cancer. Nelly from Maidstone was diagnosed two days before the first lockdown in March. Her parents say it was devastating. Now they're trying to raise money for potentially life-saving treatment in America. But while they're doing all they can to help her, they say their fundraising efforts are being hindered by the pandemic. Piers Hopkirk reports. It was back in March that Nellie's parents received the devastating news that she had stage four neuroblastoma. That was me, I'll stand by. It was a realisation that actually this could kill her. And it was the most devastating thing to ever be told. I, I'm sure any parent that's ever been in my position will say exactly the same thing. And we all know that this happens, but you don't ever think it's going to happen to you. We're just waiting for Nellie to have her stem cells. Wait, Nellie. Since her diagnosis, she's had to undergo surgery, high dose chemotherapy, a stem cell harvest, and radiotherapy. Nellie, what day is it today? Let's wait a second. Her parents are now pinning their hopes on an experimental treatment in the United States that might prevent a relapse. But hope comes with a huge price tag. Her family are having to raise £230,000 to make the treatment possible. Anything, anything I can do. You know, I mean, I'll throw myself out of a plane. I'll do absolutely anything to, to make sure that my daughter gets that treatment to save her life. But fundraising during a pandemic is proving a huge challenge. I know for solving kids' cancer, we're facing a 45% drop in income for fundraising. So for individual family campaigns, they're hit even harder. They are really, really struggling. Even with the best of intentions, their fundraising campaigns are hit. Online fundraising pages have been set up to help in the journey. There's also been a sponsored train pull at the East Kent Railway. But COVID restrictions are making traditional fundraising so much harder. Their scope may be limited, but not their determination. From the minute I heard about the trial, I thought, I'm doing it. Because, yes, I'm going to be scared, but I need to do everything I possibly can to try and stop this coming back. I need to fight for her. Happy birthday to you. Nellie's family say she's fought so bravely through her treatment now their fight begins to help her. Piers Hockey, BBC South East Today. Good luck to the family. A Kent mother again.